What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you more than 15 of my current favorite shortcuts here in iOS 13. Now I already showed you guys a lot of series shortcuts in my previous two videos and if you missed those, those will be linked up in the cards and down in the description below. But of course, these are going to be all new, useful and fun shortcuts with a few of them taking advantage of the new automations feature which was just introduced in iOS 13.1. I think you guys will get a good kick out of the automations I have set up. And as I always do for these videos, links for all of these shortcuts will be down in the description below. Just click on the link and it will open it up and these shortcuts application now if you do get this alert right here where it says it can't be opened that's perfectly fine it's normal if it's your first time downloading a shortcut from somebody else all you have to do is tap on ok then you want to go to the gallery over here and download any random shortcut just tap on it right there get shortcut just done and I'm just gonna hit replace. Then after that, go to your shortcuts and then run that shortcut one time. After doing that, go into your settings, go down to shortcuts, and then you will see a new toggle there called allow untrusted shortcuts. Toggle that on, click on allow, and then put in your passcode. And now you are good to go and you can start downloading these shortcuts. And that's just a safety measure that Apple put in place to make sure that nobody gets like their credentials stolen or anything like that. So you have to go through that. But anyways, let's move on to the shortcuts. So the very first one is going to be a a new one that I just created a couple weeks ago called new music playlist and it's this one right here so all it does is it adds the songs that you've added to your library within the last week to a new playlist so it basically makes a new playlist every week from the songs that were added to your library over the seven days so if I tap on that it will actually create the playlist right away and if I go into my music you can see it actually creates it you can see right there it actually showed up on top but if you go to my playlist and go down, you will see right there that I have a brand new playlist. If I go and tap on that, you can see it's filled with songs that I added over the past six days to my library. Now you can change this as well. So if you tap on the three dots right here, if you go to date added right here, you can go ahead and edit that. If you wanna make it more days or if you wanna do months or something like that, you could change it years, you could change it to whatever you want right there. So that is a very useful one for me because I do add music every single week and I like being able to play just my new music and not anything else. So that is new music playlist the first shortcut that I've been using a lot lately. So the second one is called Meet Halfway. And this is gonna allow you to find restaurants or stores or whatever it is halfway between you and whoever you're trying to meet up with. Maybe you wanna get food and you wanna find something between you two guys. Maybe you're like 30 minutes away, an hour away. You wanna find something that's you know in the middle of you two guys so you don't have to travel super far away. That's what the shortcut does. So if I go ahead and run it right here, you can go ahead and say, where do you want to go? So let's just say we're trying to meet somebody at a restaurant. Restaurant. So I'm just gonna put in restaurant and then we're gonna to have to put in our location for our friend here. So I'm just gonna put in a random street right there and then it's gonna to have to allow uh, location of course. That's gonna do its magic here in the background. And there we go, there is a list of restaurants that are gonna be halfway between me and the other person's location. You can see there, it automatically pulled up these. You can also search right there if you want to. And once you tap on one of them, it actually takes you to maps right here and gives you the directions straight to that location. Now, if you tap the three dots in here, you can also change this if you want to, but it's pretty solid the way it's set up. So I wouldn't recommend changing anything in here unless you just wanted to maybe add a certain type of business or something like that. Now the next one is called Safari Auto Scroll and this allows you to read articles hands-free. So let me just go ahead and show you how this works. So when you're in Safari, once you download this, you're just gonna tap on the share icon right here. You're gonna scroll down and you will see Safari Auto Scroll right there. Go ahead and tap on that. It will run right here and you can go ahead and select whatever speed you want it to run at. Now the higher the milliseconds, the slower the speed of the page is gonna move. So if you're a really slow reader, do like 100 milliseconds. If you're a pretty fast reader, probably somewhere like 20 to 50 milliseconds would be good. I'm just gonna do 50 milliseconds just so you can see how it works. I'm gonna allow. And you can see here it starts scrolling and once you start getting to the text you'll see how useful it is you can kind of just you know read this whole article without ever having to scroll and it's pretty nice i mean it kind of makes you read faster and kind of keeps you locked in and focused on what you're reading i actually found this to be a lot more useful than i originally thought it was going to be i kind of just got it as a gimmick but it actually made me you know read and it felt like i had to beat the scrolling i don't know how to explain it but it's a really cool little shortcut here uh, that's great for hands-free reading and articles and things like that it also works really well in like the apple news application as well and of course you can go up if you miss something you can see right there you can go up and it continues to scroll down so if you did happen to miss something you can do that as well now speaking of safari the next shortcut is called unpaywall and this is going to bypass the paywall on sites like the new york times the wall street journal so when you go to an article you can see here basically you have to subscribe and pay money just to read the article which is really stupid 
Most people aren't gonna do that, so this bypasses that. All you have to do is click on the share icon right here, scroll down, and you will see unpaywall right there. Tap on that, and you can see right there, it gets rid of that, and you can read the entire article without ever having to pay for the service or the subscription for any of these websites. It's really useful if you are a regular reader of like the Wall Street Journal or New York Times. Uh, I know there are things like this on desktop, but this is a very convenient one to have on your iOS device. The next shortcut is super useful and that is social media downloader. So I mentioned this before, but it has been updated. This allows you to download media from any social media site. And I mean any social media site. We're talking pictures, videos, GIFs, whatever. You can download it all from any social media site. So I'll just use Twitter for instance. All you have to do is go to the share button right here on whatever tweet, in this case for Twitter, and go to share tweet via. Scroll down and you will see SMD 4.0.2. That's the current latest version tap on that you could choose your quality if you want to just go ahead and do the highest quality right there and you can see it opens it up in this window right here we tap on the little share icon and we're able to save this straight to our camera roll right there tap save video and now it's in our camera roll and just to confirm you can see it right there in our camera roll the next shortcut is called combine screenshots and this is pretty self-explanatory it combines screenshots vertically so as you guys know in iOS 13 and Safari you're able to take a full page screenshot by default but in other applications you're not able to do that you still have to take multiple screenshots and kind of stitch them together and that's where this shortcut really comes in handy so if we go back to it and go ahead and tap on combine screenshots let's say I have these two photos right here that I want to be just one let's go ahead and click on done it's gonna work its magic we can have a name if we want I'm just gonna skip that and you can see there it saves the image as one long stitched together screenshot tap the share icon right there and we can save it straight to our camera roll all right so now i need to bring in my daily driver here to show you guys some of my automations that i have set up so i think some of you guys are going to like these so automations are again new in ios 13.1 and this allows you to automatically basically trigger shortcuts depending on a certain action. So for instance, I have three different ones right here I wanna show you. I'm gonna take this out of dark mode really quick because it's not as easy to see on camera, but let's talk about the first one here. So the first one is my morning routine. So you can see there, the action is when my wake up alarm is stopped, here are the actions that happen. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on this, and you can see here, it says, good morning, Brandon. Today is, and it shows the current date, and then it speaks that, and then it gets the current weather at my location. It also gets the precipitation chance, and then it tells me the high today is whatever the high is, and the chance of rain is whatever the chance of rain is. So these are just very, very simple things that I like to know first thing in the morning, and I'm able to just ask Siri to tell me these things, and she tells me without me needing to even touch my phone, which is really nice, and and that happens because I have asked before running turned off right here. Now, unfortunately, I cannot share the automations. That's why I'm showing you guys how I made them and kind of giving you guys some ideas as well. Um, so anyways, let's move on to the next one. The next one I think is really cool and it's one of my favorite ones and it's called, uh, I call it Welcome to the Ride. So basically it's right here, when CarPlay connects, so when CarPlay connects to my phone, when I plug my phone in to my Mustang, this is what happens. So it's really cool, it gives a really cool vibe to my car. As you guys know, I do drive a Mustang uh, with some modifications done to it. If you don't know, follow me on Instagram and you will see how it looks and everything like that. But this is a really fun one, uh, you know, not really useful or anything like that, but just really fun and really cool because it just happens automatically when I connect to CarPlay. And then the final automation I have here is the definition of living in the future. Basically, when I arrive at my hairstylist salon, it automatically sends her a payment on Venmo because I know I'm gonna have to pay her at the end. So basically when my iPhone detects that I'm at a certain location, it goes ahead and sends that payment via Venmo. So I don't ever have to worry about pulling out my card or anything like that or even my phone. It does it for me automatically. So those are just a few of the automations I have running and that I'm really liking so far here on my daily driver device. Again, I can't share those with you guys because they're not able to be shared, but I just wanted to show you guys to maybe give you an idea of some things you can do with shortcuts. So the next shortcut is called Movie Cuts, and this is gonna allow you to get pretty much all the information you would ever want about a movie. So you can see right here, you can run it by just tapping on it right here. And then this is where you put 
put in the movie title. So you can either type it or say it or paste it. I'm just gonna type it in. I'm just gonna type in Joker. Pretty good movie, by the way. And it shouldn't take too long to pull up a list of results here. So you can see right here, the one I'm looking for is 2019. But you can see here, it's pretty extensive. You can see a lot of stuff in here. Let's just go to Joker right there. And you can see this is where it shows us everything. So it shows us the director, the actors, you know, the first thing it shows is the movie, the runtime, the rating. It shows the IMDb rating, the Rotten Tomatoes rating, the release date, the plot, the trailer, more details, share the link. And you can also do a new search here as well. And if you tap on the plot, it shows you right there, pretty short and simple plot, but you get the point. And of course, we can go ahead and click on trailer to open up in YouTube and show us the trailer for the movie. But you can see here, you can see the Rotten Tomatoes ratings and things like that. It's not meant to go anywhere. It's meant to just be static and show you the actual rating right there. So a pretty cool and very useful shortcut if you're thinking about going to see a movie or you know wanting to start watching a show on Netflix or something like that. This is a great little shortcut to have access to. Now, the next one is one that I use to add tags to my Instagram posts. So I have a Instagram page for my car and this one's called Mustang tag so if I go to these three dots right here basically all it is is a text and a copy text to keyboard so basically all it is is my tags right here that I use for my car on Instagram and that way when I go into my Instagram when I post something I don't have to dig into my notes and find you know the tags that I use for that specific account all I have to do is tell Siri to run that shortcut and it's automatically copied to my clipboard I just tap paste and it's done all within like five seconds so it's extremely useful so you could use this you guys can get some ideas for this uh, you know you can have multiple tags in there as well but it's just a very simple shortcut that can be very effective and it definitely saves me time especially since I put the tags on every single post the next one is an easy way to play study music with the press of a button so lo-fi beats this is somebody who streams 24 7 on YouTube and on Twitch I believe and Spotify as well basically if you tap on this you could choose what you want to listen to so do you want to relax and study or do you want to sleep and chill so if I wanted to study just tap on that then you can open it up in either Spotify or YouTube I'll choose YouTube this time it opens it up and it goes right to the stream, as you can see right there, currently live and playing those lo-fi beats. So this is pretty handy. And if you tap on the three dots right here, you could change this if you wanted to add in like another station on Spotify or another stream on YouTube. It's pretty easy to change in here. Um, you could change the menu as well if you wanted to add some stuff to it. Very, very simple shortcut, but pretty effective because I do use this a lot. And it's very convenient to just tell Siri to play that for me and it automatically does it or just to press a couple buttons and it gets me there automatically without having to go through all that work myself it's not really a lot of work but when you do it every day it definitely adds up now the next one is called network tool and if you tap on this it shows you a lot of information about your current network and this is what I do to run a really quick speed test so if we just tap on do a speed test it takes me to whatever I set I set speed of dot me but you could change that to whatever you want and you can just run the speed test right there it saves you some time and if we go ahead and tap on the three dots right there if we scroll all the way down here you could change right here the speed test you could change change the URL to whatever site you want. If you want to use a different site, you could do so right there. But if we tap on it again, you can see you could do other things like test your ping. It'll show you your exact ping here as well, as you can see there. And you can show information about your Wi-Fi, advanced information lookup. You can see your physical IP location, and you can even share your Wi-Fi via a QR code right here, which is actually a shortcut I showed you guys like last year. So that's a pretty cool little tool there if you are into networking and like to see the details about your network. The next one is EXIF photo details. And this is one of my favorite shortcuts because it shows you a lot of information about the photos that were taken. So if I go to my photos and I go to this photo right here and tap on the share icon scroll all the way down until we see exit photo details tap on that it's going to run through the process right here then it's going to give us some really really awesome information so take a look at this it shows you the width the height it shows you the file extension the size if you scroll down it shows you exactly what camera model was used to take the picture it shows exactly when it was taken it shows the exact location of where the photo was taken it shows the width the height the dpi pretty much everything the white balance the exposure literally everything you would ever Ever want to know about a photo can be done through this shortcut you could access all of the information from the shortcut it's really really awesome and then the final shortcut I wanted to show you guys today is called time machine and this is just a fun one it's not really useful it's just really fun to see the photos that were taken exactly one year ago today so I like to do this like before I go to bed I don't know why I'm just a very nostalgic person and I like seeing you know old photos if you tap on that it's actually going to pull up the photos you took exactly one year ago. If it shows this, that just means it has to load for a minute. It was probably in iCloud and didn't fully download yet. But there you go. You can see it did populate. And it looks like I was in New York or something last year. I'm not even really sure 
where this is. But apparently iOS 12.1 beta 4 came out on this day last year and I was using Uncover apparently. So yeah, so it's pretty cool to see some of the photos that were taken a year ago. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. Again, not useful, but can be really fun if you're bored and are just a pretty nostalgic person. You can also change that if you go to the three dots in here and you could change the date if you wanted to and you can kind of modify everything in there. And just as a bonus, I do also have the weight progress right here. So you can basically track your weight loss. That's another one I'll have in the description below. And then Media Mutt is another social media downloader where you can download media from social media websites and certain websites in Safari as well. This can kind of just be an alternative to SMD, social media downloader that I mentioned earlier on in this video. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Those are some of my favorite shortcuts that I'm currently using here on iOS 13. And again, the automations are really fun to use as well. I use those on my daily driver. Unfortunately, I cannot share the links and they don't even show up here for me. You know, when I do iCloud sync, they don't even sync over between devices. So hopefully they add that in the future. Uh, but you can also create home automations as well. If you do have a smart home, I've heard really great things about that. I'll need to set that up pretty soon. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy these shortcuts. If you downloaded at least one of them, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because I will be making more videos just like this in the future. And shortcuts are never gonna end. Like there's always gonna be lots of new and unique shortcuts for the rest of time. So I can't wait to share more of them with you guys later on down the road. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you soon.